Thank you, Ambassador, and can I say thank you very much for having me here, um, and at the outset I'd like to say thank you to you and your whole team uh, for enabling me to come. I know how much work has gone into my visit, and I really do appreciate it, and all of the different organisations that I've been able to visit today, their efforts too in welcoming me and, um, and allowing me to learn more about the situation here. So today has been a happy day, a happy day that I have finally been able to get to Ukraine um, and I'm very happy to be here on my first visit. Um, a sad day because of course it means while I'm here I've been learning more about the situation in all its realities, um, which of course is sad. Um, the human cost of war is very real and I know that everybody here feels it very intensely. Um, as you rightly say, I work on behalf of victims of conflict all around the world. I have travelled to many countries, either in conflict or post-conflict. Um, but unfortunately, the scene is very similar wherever I go. Um, it is true that women and girls pay the highest price in terms of human cost um, when it comes to the way that they are affected and the way that they can be used as weapons of war. Um, rape is used to demean, to degrade and to destroy. Um, and we have to get better at trying to prevent that from happening. Um, where we cannot prevent it from happening, what we must do is put measures in place to support those who have fallen victim to such crimes. And I have to say that uh, in meeting um, Madame Zelenska today, I know and I've met her on many occasions now, um, what she has done to be very much on the front foot in organizing centers for people to go to when they have suffered harm, to find support and a way forward and people who will care for them Documenting um, the crimes are extremely important too. So this is where it's really, um, I, I was very pleased to see what, what the work has, has, has taken place here. Um, and it is very much still in the early stages, but it's, it's wonderful and I'm, I'm pleased that the British government is supporting this humanitarian effort because it is really important further down the line. Um, I was, I've been meeting with survivors of sexual violence and the conflict. Um, I thank them for their honesty in telling me what happened to them. Their stories are sad. I, know, I hear many stories like theirs, sadly, from around the world. Um, but I appreciate their time and their openness. Um, but I know with the help of the survivor centers that they, they will get back on their feet and they will be able to move forward. Um, this afternoon, uh, Survivors for Ukraine was a wonderful opportunity to see an organization that's really looking after children, looking after families, putting families first, um, and they're doing a wonderful job. Um, to be able to meet with some of the people who also have played a large role in Bucha, in Erpin, and to see how they helped their, their communities in times of great desperation and need um, was a humbling privilege, um, and I shall take their stories home in my heart. Um, more than anything, it is a, an enormous pleasure to be here, to see you, Katerina. It's really wonderful to see you. It seems like about five lifetimes ago that we first met in New York when you were so desperate and you had travelled a long and arduous journey to get there and you were begging for help. Um, it seems like a long time ago and we have had the opportunity to meet on other occasions as well. And in fact I was truly humbled to stand on the stage with you in Washington when both you and I received our awards from Hillary Clinton um, at the Georgetown Institute which was uh, a wonderful experience. I very much felt 
um, that yours was truly deserved. Um, and mine, I, my, my role is to do these things and to represent people who cannot speak for themselves. But uh, you have put yourself out there and I know you continue looking after people and doing what you can for the people of Ukraine. Um, is Natalia here? Is Natalia? Oh, there you are, Natalia. We share the stage as well, and it's a pleasure to see you as well. Um, and I'm, I'm in awe of, of everything that you're doing. And I, I've met so many wonderful Ukrainians, in fact, in the United Kingdom, who have um, found a home over there. And what has been interesting is also to see the people who live and were already living in the UK stepping forward and helping their fellow countrymen and women to try and settle and find some kind of, of, of peace for now. But of course, what is true is that the hearts of every Ukrainian that I've met in the United Kingdom, their hearts remain here. They would like to return home one day, and God willing, that will happen. But for the meantime, thank you for the visit. Thank you for welcoming here, me here. Um, it's an honor to be here, and, and it's wonderful to see you. And Ambassador, thank you again for everything that you've done to help this, this happen.